welcome to an episode of Camilla and I um, here amongst the dog walkers and uh, general fraternity on a uh, busy Saturday morning but uh, yeah we're uh, photographing the Blacktail Godwit well we're using a couple of our tips today on Camilla and I and that is we are going to repeat visits to locations we know and uh, Stuart Pond as in the previous episode on Camilla and I where we did the turnstone link to that one if you haven't seen that one already um, amazing little wading bird we've moved up a size on the wading birds this time and we've got the black tailed godwit from Stuart Pond Key Haven and uh, what an absolute beauty it is and uh, i can tell you this morning i have been right amongst them getting down low using the old bean bag great technique now so we're having a great time this morning this is a really great action um the black tail godwits here have obviously just got used to uh, the amount of invasion and uh, incursion on their space so uh, this is absolutely amazing this morning to be able to get so close to a flock of black tail godwits they're not usually this friendly they're not uh, not as good but this morning i've been able to get really close and that's another key tip to get as close as you can so uh, if you find a spot like this one get in there and get really close because the closer you get the better shots you get linked to some better close-up shots superb um, I've had them here before at Stuart Pond and I've had them fighting amongst themselves it's been absolutely great so uh, yeah superb to watch uh, them having a little pre-mating fight Morning. Morning. <laughs> wow another couple of dogs go by always busy around here but uh, yeah, it's just like being in a park at the moment with these black-tailed godwits. Don't know why they haven't flown off. Absolutely incredible. So settings today on Camaro and I. Well, we've got the uh, 600mm f4 with the Sony A1. Um, brilliant for this sort of situation. And we've got it set to uh, f4, f4.5. And uh, ISO is coming in about 500 to 800. And... Uh, two thousandth of a second just to freeze any action because although they're uh, wading they are constantly feeding and those little beaks are going in and out left right and center and of course any action we want to just capture it as we can I mean, so it just takes off then we're in on it in a flash so uh, yeah zone metering and um I can revert to spot metering using the AEL button set to 1 500th of a second f5.6 and the corresponding automatic ISO. Awesome. So those are the settings this morning for the Blacktail Cod Whip. And uh, what a beautiful morning. Yeah, just recording some uh, preening action at the moment for you. Absolutely incredible. Lovely to get in there. Superb. They uh, very good, the Blacktail Godwit subject. They do a lot of things. They uh, feed a lot, they preen a lot, and um, they move a lot. So a great subject for wildlife photography, the Blacktail Godwit. So uh, yeah, we're focusing on this one. But uh, earlier in the day, I did get a grey heron and um, a teal, got a teal and also a kingfisher hovered above me in the lake and i uh, got a shot of it hovering before it dived in to catch the fish and fly away Ooh, awesome but uh yeah pays to uh, stay awake anyway a bit of action now just seeing a bit of action at the moment anytime you hear a little fight or a little call to action pay attention because there may be something about to take off. Well, the black-tailed godwit has certainly been one of my favourites at Sturt Pond in uh, the recent years. So, uh, yeah, linked to some uh, shots 
I'll put uh, my best shots from Sturt Pond at the end of this video. So don't forget to watch to the end. It helps the old algorithm. Cheers. So we've got a nice number in this flock. Ten. Oh, bit of fight action. That's what we're looking for. Bit of fight action. That's what we want. Awesome. So another technique deployed on Camilla and I today is uh, getting down low. We've been down low with the bean bag and uh, this makes a big difference to uh, wildlife shots. I'll show the difference between a low shot and uh, a slightly elevated shot. So getting down low. So what a beautiful subject. The uh, black-tailed godwit. It's been absolutely superb this morning. Unusual to get them posing quite so well. But uh, yeah, this morning they've really been on form. And uh, yeah, difficult to miss. Certainly an advantage having uh, bird eye autofocus on the Sony A1. It uh, really comes into play. So, uh, yep. You literally only have to get your subject in frame and uh, to guarantee a uh, sharp eye. Uh, it's just the depth of field I've got to play around with. F4.5 at the moment. Red shank flying across there. Didn't get that one. No, incredible action. Amazing bird. Probably my favourite wading bird. Photographically. Superb. I have a set the most picturesque, I think, but uh, black tail godwit, hard to beat. Awesome. A great one to photograph after you photograph the turnstone. Oh. So we're looking to photograph anything a little bit different. Um, feeding action. Preferably with a uh, worm in its mouth. Preening. Fighting. So we're getting down as low as we can to improve the uh, angle. As low as we can to uh, water level. Ooh, something's freaked them out there. fish under the water or something, it disturbed them, flew up. Have I got it? Really pushing my luck here. This is so close. Wow, well, what a morning amongst the uh, flock of 10 black-tailed godwits here at uh, Sturt Pond. Absolutely awesome. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Got some uh, great shots this morning. Well, hopefully I've got some great shots. You never know your shots are in the bag until they're developed. So uh, anyway, hopefully got some close-up shots of... Uh, a black-tailed godwit, so uh, superb. Anyway, thanks for watching an episode of Camilla and I. Over and out from Sturt Pond, Key Haven in the UK. Absolutely superb this morning on Camilla and I.